For this, we are going to play as Ook, and we also need to enable historical AI focuses, because after my democratic, chaotic Germany gameplay, I will never again turn this one off. Maybe once a year. First off, we are going for a change in course, obviously. We can build a few military factories in London, and we want a lot of guns. Don't care about planes right now, um, and we can go for... Fine, let's, let's just go for guns. I, I think I forgot something, but this is fine. It's not that integral. Research, standard stuff. And also going for guns. The UK is insanely strong with their starting research. We have 36 uh, planes. We have almost all boats. We have engineering already. It's incredible. Then we're also gonna build in Clustershire. Can ignore most of these warnings. And I'm already going to do something that is unusual and I feel like will be patched. Because I'm going to give some of you English people a nightmare. Release Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland as puppets. The king is dead, long live the king. First order of business. We will bring in the gamer faction. Ethiopia capitulated, or well, they want to join our... get a... government in exile. We don't care. If we do, they want Eritrea, and if we don't give them Eritrea, we lose like 50 pp, and we don't really get anything out of it. So just for this game, I don't give a shit. Let Italy annex them, and if they ever come back, we can just slap them. As for the Turks, we will support them. Soviets will always back down, it's just 5 free Navy XP. We'll get the army offense guy, and we can already march on London. In the meantime, we will save PP. We got London, and we can also go for the other thing. There we go. We don't really... you don't need to do this one. What we care about is getting our stability below 50% so we can get an early civil war. Boom. We have war. We're gonna go with uh, God Save the King. We have a beautiful army here. All of them can go to the front lines. Send like three of you down here. Doesn't really matter that much. But I will do it regardless. Oh my god, we have so many divisions in Bristol. So let's just send them around. In the meantime, we can build a few more horses. I'm not going to go for this purse industry. We do get a lot of factories, but we get them quickly. So I'd rather take the bonus efficiency. Doesn't really matter that much. The king is dead. They still have the king. We have Eddie... Uh, they have the Nazi, we have George, which is a little bit weird, but, you know, hearts of iron. Okay, we saved the king. Now we can consolidate the British Isles. Ah, I know what I forgot about. The agency could have gotten that one before we went to Civil War, because now it hurts us a lot more with our fewer factories, but this is completely fine. Okay, I will just auto the rest, because we have encircled divisions we have done so much damage and just look at this we're pushing we are pushing them back so things will get spicy very quickly now so i'm just gonna stop the attack move those divisions away from the front line but you can already see they are 70 percent towards capitulation but before we finish this little war let me just click a few things you know just, just out of curiosity not because I need to do it, but, you know, just because I like clicking buttons. And boom, we are at war with the entire British Empire, which is possible because they are puppets of the United Kingdom. Even though we don't have war goals on them, we can declare on them because they are puppets. You might already have figured out why this is so beautifully a paradox game. Like th this is pure paradox game. No, they just took Birmingham. I shouldn't have moved the troops here. No! <laughs> okay. This is completely fine. Yeah, this was just because I was impatient. We can defend London easily. Just drop these divisions here. They don't have strength, but this they don't need strength. There we go. Now it's time for a peace deal. And because our dominions rebelled against us we will annex all of them we'll also integrate scotland again 
and the Wales for breaking free and obviously all of the United Kingdom. And we will also take the Navy. As for the British, I don't think you need to take the Navy. I'll show you in just a second. Uh, we will puppet Northern Ireland, which you might find is a little bit weird. We'll take the British Navy and boom, it's still here. This is probably just because it's, it's technically a civil war, so we will get the Navy regardless. So we can't take it. It's 1936. We have every single Dominion under our control and a somewhat free Northern Ireland, which you might say a little bit weird, Vijay. Why did you do this? <laughs> Very simple reason. Reinforce the Empire requires us to have more than zero subject nations. I do want to go to a certain place. Without any of the Commonwealth Dominions, we can just jump to the Imperial Federation in 1937. And without anyone not agreeing with us, we will just form the Imperial Federation. It is such a beautiful thing. Such a beautiful, beautiful thing I found. At this point, you have won the war. You have won the game, seriously. You can also enact the mostly plan. Oh, I could have gone for radio propaganda, so this would have been better. Because now we have 55, we can go to war. Okay, never mind. <laughs> right, because of mostly, economy laws are cheap. Oh, okay. France is being a cuck. This is fine. I don't really care. Yeah, let's build a lot of horses. Oh no, now the annoying part. I need to manage factories. <laughs> I didn't need to see. We have Jared Warren. 100% world tension already. It's 1936. Just because we marched on London. We do want the Princess of Terror, but also the elusive gentleman right now. There we go. Greece once again declared war on Albania. I don't know what I'm doing, that they always go for this. It just makes it easier for Italy. I guess we lose our cores. I thought we kept them. There we go. We bypassed all of the Dominion focuses and we can go for the Imperial Federation now. Prepare cooperation governments. Boom, Imperial Federation, the Empire. It is the 3rd of July, 1937. We have cores on everything again, except for Scotland and Wales. The main reason why we release Scotland is so that the United Kingdom has less VPs, so they're easier to capitulate. So it's technically not required. The only thing you will have to give up is the core on Northern Ireland. God damn, what, are, what am I gonna do now? <laughs> I never thought so far. The ideal thing to take is secret police. Like that's the most you will get in terms of factories. Technically the best one in the long run is uh, civilian oversight. Secret police and local police force give you less compliance, but you get factories now that can build factories and these factories can be used. So it's an exponential gain, whereas civilian oversight costs manpower and IC instead of providing you with this. The difference in factories gained is small and considering the damage you take on civilian oversight, it's not worth it. After a year or two, you could switch occupation law to civilian oversight to get more compliance or do it for certain regions, for example, Poland, Lithuania for the Commonwealth. We can unite the Anglosphere, just get a few more factories from Portugal. Bit of a shame here, I should have taken these two cycles. No, I... I should have developed... Can we get back to politics? That was a little bit wrong. Uh, how supply... Actually, I don't really care. One thing that's a little bit scary now is we need to hurry up. I should have bumped divisions out much quicker. Now the Czechs will refuse the Sudetenland, which the Germans will then declare war on them. They will join France, and if we are at war, we are at war with the US while they're at war with France, they will join their faction. Always give Yugoslavia bombers. I don't care about tactical bombers. Let's just declare war on the US. So next interesting thing, we can get more war support and such. We can get more manpower. Don't really care. We can get war goals. Don't really care right now. What I do care about right now is a little bit of rearmament. I feel like it's about time we rearm a little bit. Just a teeny teensy bit. These guys can just attack here. The rest can attack over there. And why are you not moving? I know you don't have supply, but that's no reason. Ah, I forgot about it. Alaska. Drop these divisions. It's overkill, but doesn't really matter. The biggest thing you can do against the US, just walk around them. 
They don't have a lot of troops. You do have horses. Horses are fast. Not a lot of troops are not a lot of fast. So you will always be stronger. I hate it that these divisions are not attacking. I don't know, I might draw the US front. Blech. I'm also not really helping with encircling them and not eating them up. I'm gonna see if we can give him organizer. Is it organizer? Uh, no, skill staffer. Because now he has too many armies under his control and he should get skill staffer slowly. Oh, I love it. You lost the entire front line. Everyone left. Shadow scheme, it will immediately fire because we are at war. No! Let him walk out of Detroit! Now you can attack. See, that's what I get for not picking this purse. Just snake, cause chaos. Go get the research slot. We're getting a little bit low on manpower, but that's mostly because of the additional... <laughs> Never mind! <laughs> I don't think I've had this many casualties, like the um, ratio of casualties since I started playing Hearts of Iron. These horses are incredibly trash and I'm just ramming them into enemy front lines. Doesn't matter too much because we can still go for extensive conscription. We'll also get the... Please don't join the UR. Actually, don't think it's that bad. Uh, but we do need one thing. <laughs> we need to put our, our navy on strike force else... Oh, look at this. Beautiful snaky lines. <laughs> I mean, look at those front lines. <laughs> We, do sh we should have a lot of war score, so we might be able to take France for free, or parts of France. Actually, knowing the new peace deals, the US and France will just survive. God, the US! The US has too many factories, seriously. Right now, we're gonna go for the Germans, I mean the Italian alliance, and then for the Germans. There we go. France is gone. I care a lot about taking the majority of the US because we do have the collaboration governments. Don't really care about the navy and I also need a few pieces of French land and then just take a bunch of the US navy. Would have liked it if the Germans took it but I guess we'll scuttle the fleet. I hate this! <laughs> Why? <laughs> they haven't even gone for Danzig. Wait a minute! Why? They, they can take it. They're just manually justified. But we do have all of the US, which I very much like. That's honestly so scuffed that we don't have Wales in Scotland, but we have cores on Canada and <laughs> even India. I'm gonna send two armies down here. You and you. And let, we can see if we can take Spain. They haven't declared on the Benelux, only well, they haven't declared the war on the Benel. That's an odd thing to say. Oh no, I'm getting divisions from the... <sighs> I hate those divisions. Understanding things. Ah, it's so cool. I love learning things. Seriously, it's my favorite thing in the world. Just understanding things. Oh, yes, please. Fall of Gibraltar. Oh no. Oh my god, that was scary. It was... It's only hungry. Hungary cannot deal damage to me. And thank you, they took Belgium. Now we can, we have such a nice border with them. Kind of a nice border, except for the French, who once again just want to ruin everything for Europe. Like the British or the Germans or the Austrians or the Russians. You know what, let's go for expose the belly of the bear. Kill these off, not because I need to, but hey, it's fun. Interesting, there are some Germans here. I guess I'll remember that. Yes, Iran and Afghanistan. Oh, that's actually pretty big. I don't want to be a prick. And let's see if we can push. Would you look at that? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Completely green air. Oh, look at the tons of damage. Oh my god. 0.0 damage. Let's fucking go. Are you serious? Everyone just left the front lines. We do have the... Oh, it's only 30% collaboration. But still, actually, I should have collaborated on the Soviets. But I don't have... Yeah, I need to get the localized training center, so it's, it's fine. Doesn't matter. Yeah, he has too many trades. It's getting slower to level them. It's crazy that we're at the gates of Warsaw and the Germans still haven't capitulated. Trotsky is gone. Get into Bulgaria as fast as you can. I need to be quick or else they will push through Romania. No, they capitulated to the Russians. 
Romania makes sense because they were fighting in the Soviet land. So I completely expected them to capitulate to the Soviets. Finland has joined the Axis. And then let's take Vamboy. Yamboy. Yambol. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> There we go. We ensured that we can take all of the Greek and Albanian land. Ah, fuck you, ace pilots. Let's push against the Italians as well. In terms of equipment, yeah, we're fine. Completely fine, even. Ooh, nice. Why did it take you so long? Only 3% of our factories. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Why are not getting supplies? I mean, they are getting supplies from the uh, naval base, but this can get raided and I don't really care about fixing that right now. Argos, the Argos Alliance. Today I learned. I think I'm still missing German land, am I? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Give me more factories. Switzerland. No! Come here. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to do the, to delete the East Divisions. It's a Paradox game, because Paradox is a crack. If I need to describe Paradox games in one word, or with one example, then this would probably be it. I can't delete these divisions because my puppet built them and they weren't allowed to delete them. But I can do one thing, which is send you guys here on a very special military operation. It's gonna be integral to the war effort. Declare. Yeah, okay, this is more like it. Oh my god, look at them. Look at them push. Um. Why? Give me one valid reason why you just reorganize the lines completely. Boom! I had hoped we would turn into the European Union. Uh, guess not. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go AFK for five minutes. Gotcha there, didn't I? <laughs> there we go. Romania is gone. Are you serious? Campbell got skilled staffer. He doesn't even have more... Red fin... Why? Paradox, please. Just fix this bullshit. Oh, you got some... Yes. Finally. Alright, Japan. Kind of a dick move to declare war on someone, huh? You should be ashamed of yourself, Japan. Ashamed, I say. <laughs> Can you stop? Please, I just, I just want a front line. I seriously hope at some point they fix this. <laughs> what? There's the state owner of this one. So they took, uh, so yeah, they took Southern Indochina, which is why they're sneaking through India right now. It's so scuffed. <laughs> it's so cursed. I have calls on all of the EU and Eastern. <laughs> That's even worse. You know, I was gonna say, I have calls on England, the entire Dominion, except for Scotland, Ireland, Wales, Northern Ireland. Why Eastern Aragon? Makes it so much worse. Bulgaria has gone again, yay. I, I'm just gonna ignore it. Some of these divisions are pushing so nicely, like butter through knife. Turkey joins fanboys for life, sure. Actually, Turkey is probably the last thing I would expect in this faction, at least modern day Turkey. <sighs> Fighting the Soviets without collaboration governments, just why? Why is this a thing? I think there's something in the Geneva Convention about this. I should build motorized infantry. Honestly, at this point, it would have been worth it. Fuck off, no. You haven't even done anything. Do you want my land? I have so little to give. How much damage have we done in terms of planes? 12,000 enemy planes. Guess they still have an air force, huh? No idea how. Okay, I'm not gonna bother. If we had the old system, I would deploy them, but with stacks of 100, no, thank you. I mean, I can do this. Uh, wait, this? But still, I'd rather not. I, d I didn't even care about the navies. Just end the war against the Russians. Then we deck on China. Let's take Yunnan quickly. From there on we can take China. Then Japan will take 
China. And then we can push through China. It's a very simple process. No, I'm not gonna give you stuff. Did you not get the message? Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> we push through them and immediately we get to fight the Japanese. Yo, let's take Chongqing. It's a place from Hitman. And then if we take Yan, they should be gone. Okay, maybe we need to take Chandu as well. Oh no, they retook Chongqing. That's why. Yes, China's gone. I'd be surprised if I can take anything. So long as my divisions don't just die because of that. Woo, we landed in Nagasaki. And now we can just cap them. Because nobody's home, apparently. Oh, they are gonna take so many more troops unless we can push into here, Haiku. There we go. Now they can all flee. So many railway guns are stopped. Oh, it's a stack of 18 troops and you're just not pushing. It's so stupid that this land automatically flips. Ah, whatever. I knew it was gonna flip. I just wanted to make it quicker because <laughs> it's 1945 and Japan hasn't taken China yet. Without the allies interfering, you know. There was no US, there was no France, there was no Britain. Nobody was bothering them, not even the Soviets. <laughs> I hate this, why? I think the green air is doing wonders here. Japan is gone, now we only need to capitulate China again. The upside is they don't have any divisions. Japan still has 200 divisions. I hate that they changed naval invasions. They're so clunky to use now. Fuck you. Stupid freaking event. Gosh darn it. All oh, shucks. <laughs> oh shit, my game is lagging. Just conscripted a quarter of a million people for the Air Force. Then let's see, supplies. You have supplies, but I don't think I have a connection to that. Oh my god, supply is broken, I can finally push. What a weird development. Yay, four railway guns to be freed. And I genuinely don't care, just help this guy, I guess. We have pushed quite a bit here. Honestly, I think 90% of that just because of the supply and probably the planes. Vladivostok is your capital? <laughs> you don't even own it. I know you occupy it right now, but... Yay! China's gone, Japan is gone, Mengoku's gone. 1946. This took longer than I wanted. The Soviets took like 40 minutes, if not an hour. Could have gone on the Germans faster, could have attacked the US faster if I split the divisions out quickly enough. Japan and China is always a grind unless Japan can take China early. Like, you will always have to fight them twice unless you take one of them out early. Because either China will puppet Japan or Japan will puppet China if the other one falls, so you're always in a weird spot. But yeah, this is it. This is the strongest UK you can have. Technically, <laughs> as I said, you can release Scotland and Northern Ireland so that the UK has less VPs for the civil war then you can take them much more easily. Then if you get, go for the focus, uh, unite the Anglosphere later, you can get cores on Ireland. You can realize European unity for cores in all of Europe. Well, the Benelux, France, Germany, Italy. And you can unite the empire very easily. You could even go for the Canada one? For me it's not worth it the hassle because the way it is right now you can skip this entire Commonwealth ties tree and get it in 1937. Honestly if, if you do it perfectly you might even do it be able to do it in 1936. Either way I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have. It's, it's so cool.